societies anywhere in the world is largely going to be a reflection of the value and execution of educational policies and how members of that society embraces it. In Nigeria, there are several institutions that fit the billing and of particular interest on this week's program is the University of Lagos, located in Akoka, southwest Nigeria. Unilag, as it is fondly called, has grown in several ramifications, particularly to the stature of an almost independent community, thereby demonstrating how a larger community or society can be organized. Over the next 25 minutes, we will be showing you what makes Unilag a community of not just academic pursuit, but other interesting growth stories. Stay tuned. I'm your host, Olu Phillips. As the independence of Nigeria beckoned in the late 1950s, the hope for rapid industrialization and economic development to save Nigeria from the suffocating tyranny of poverty and underdevelopment was kindled. As of 1948, University College Ibadan had been established with an orientation towards the liberal arts, with its paltry output of 300 graduates annually plus the fact that industrialization and economic development required a more professional, technology-oriented workforce meant that more universities had to be established. The then federal government set up the Sir Eric Ashbey-led Commission on Post-School Certificate and Higher Education. Thus, four universities were catalyzed into existence. The University of Nigeria and Suka was founded on the lines of the American Land Grant Universities and it proclaimed the new identity with the significant motto to restore the dignity of man. The Ahmadu Bello University, Zaria, 1962. The University of Ife, 1962, product of the initiative of the Western region in response to the realities of the prevailing situation and the University of Lagos, 1962, as a federal institution. The way we put it here is this is the university of first choice and the nation's pride. Now, our university started in 1962, and uh, it's, it's, it's been there. We have the full complement of a conventional university. We have uh, 12 faculties in all. We have several schools also. Our medical program is outstanding. Our law program is outstanding. Our mass communication program is outstanding. Pharmacy is outstanding. The courses in the Faculty of Arts, Business Administration, Environmental Sciences, Social Sciences. We are just a top range university in Nigeria. And usually we range between the best university in Nigeria to sometimes the second, sometimes the third. But over the period of the last few years, we have maintained that first, second, third position. And it's a very good university. It's the only university in Nigeria that is cited by the lagoon. It's the only university in Nigeria that's approachable by land, by sea, and also by air. You don't get many universities that can have that. Of course, you can always drop a helicopter into any campus or people driving. But this is the only university in Nigeria that you can actually approach through the lagoon. It's a very unique thing. So we have a wonderful ecosystem. We've got a relatively small campus, if you compare to some other universities, but we have made maximum use of it. And our university is also known as one of the cleanest on campus and one of the well-maintained universities in Nigeria. We have a good student population in all about 50,000, both full-time and part-time. We have very strong postgraduate courses you know, in several areas of human endeavor. We are the only university that insists on five credits at one sitting of all levels. And all our candidates, no matter what course that they want to read, must have those five credits at one sitting, and they must include English and mathematics. Very many universities don't even bother about that, but we think that you must not only be articulate and be able to speak well, you must also be numeral in terms of your ability to understand basic mathematical equations because you're always running into statistical data and all of that.
Whereas the Ash Bay Commission had envisaged a non-residential institution which would be cited in the business district of Central Lagos, the UNESCO Advisory Commission, charged with the detailed planning for the new university, opted for a more traditional university, a complete all-encompassing institution. Thus, on the authority of the University of Lagos Act of 1962, the federal government established the University of Lagos on October 22, 1962. The act provided for an 11-member provisional council for the university, a senate to preside over academic affairs, and a separate council for the medical school located at the University Teaching Hospital in Idiaraba, a few kilometers away from the Akoka main campus. First, the university actually consisted of two separate institutions, the main university and an autonomous medical school. The university operates beyond a main institution of higher learning. As a community, it has continued to commit to impacting the larger society through deliberate policies and actions, both in academic trainings and structures to support that contract. Our university was set up to meet the demands of the industry to meet the de demands of the commercial areas. We were the first university in Nigeria to begin a Master of Business Administration program. That's the MBA. Of course, quite a number of universities latched onto that after a while. But that university was to meet, you know, we have a very strong faculty of business administration with banking and finance, accounting, actuarial science and insurance, and a few of the other programs, industrial relations and personnel management. So our university was set up to meet the demands of that industry, as well as, you know, the civil service uh, structure and all of that, you know, courses in the arts, in the humanities, urban and regional planning, geography, surveying, engineering. We have one of the strongest engineering faculties in all of Nigeria, if not in all of Africa. I mean, the University of Lagos is for excellence anyway, so there's, that's, the, that's, that's our, our primary aim, to ensure that we build a very strong workforce and make our students go through very rigorous training. That's why when you do, of course, see some of our graduates going for postgraduate studies in different parts of the world, they excel. They excel very well.